Hello Team Aquarius, it's Empire333 here with your love reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. If you're new, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. And also, what else? I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are in the world. So Aquarius, for those of you who are new, I might extend this video. I am doing extended readings if spirit guides me for further spiritual advice about your love story and you can find that under the video description box here okay under the video <laughs> and um, and I'll let you know if I'm gonna extend this video closer to the end so that you can um, click that and go to the extended okay if you want further advice if you resonate with the situation this will not resonate with every Aquarius on planet Earth. Keep that in mind or anybody dealing with Aquarius. So let's get into it. So what I'm seeing here is that spirit is getting you ready to love again. I feel like some of you, um, you're going through really deep emotional healing. What's What I'm hearing here is like something from the past keeps creeping up when it has to do with a past relationship and there's fears based upon that okay but this is tanzanite here and what spirit is saying here is like we're, we're prepping you up to get ready to love again okay so i feel that some of you are going through like a um i just got a detox so some of you can be doing like a physical detox about like um you know like with water or purification or whatever it is lemon water i'm getting some of you are drinking lemon water um what is that other thing with like vinegar and something i'm getting that for some of you okay so some of you are going through this detox because you feel that there's some fears peeping up you know creeping up i should say peeping up creeping up on you when it comes to this situation the person that you're dealing with the person that you're inquiring this reading about so some of you feel that um <clears throat> there's some doubts in your mind when it comes to this person okay so and some of you are having issues with making a decision so that's what i'm getting making a decision probably about this person you're dealing with and this is about owning your divine power okay this is saying replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment okay so this is about you you have been maybe neglecting or ignoring your own fears doubts and going with this person's flow is what I'm getting for some of you, okay? And that's okay. I'm sure that whoever feels that they've done that, have that was the past, okay? But spirit is with you to replace all those fears, okay? To replace um, trying to, you know, just please someone else and not do what you really want to do. So some of you, it's like you want something certain when it comes to this connection. And the other person here that you're dealing with, Aqua, they have control issues. So I feel like this person is trying to control this situation, this um, the dynamics of your connection, okay, or your situation, whatever it is, this love story, okay, that you guys got going on, this person is trying to control and dominate the situation, okay, and you have been trying to please them. So this is a this is a point where you need to be honest with yourself and see what you really want, okay, because I feel like what's going on here is that you wanted something in a certain way, and sorry guys i got oil all over me you want something in a certain way okay aqua this person here it's like they want it their way and they're trying to control the situation because that's why spirit's like you have to own your own divine power you need to know what you want and you know stand your ground is what i'm getting okay because this person here they're trying to control you while they're holding their emotions back their emotions are not clear to you. So it could be they're trying to just control how this connection goes, but really they're closed off emotionally. Their emotions for you are not clear. They're not expressing that to you. Okay, and that's a problem. So it's like they're controlling it with like the physical aspect of the connection. 
So I keep getting labels. Okay, so somebody here, the person you're dealing with probably is not giving you the label that you want. For some of you, that's what I'm getting. So maybe you want to be this person's even, you know, girlfriend or boyfriend, whatever it is. I feel like this person is trying to control it. Like, okay, no, we're not that, we're this, or we're not really anything. It's like that, you know what it is, what I'm getting? It's that um, the label is complicated. That's what it is, okay? Which is like most people's things. But this person, I feel that they're complicating you, confusing you with how they're trying to control this situation. So let's see further how this person feels that you're dealing with, Aqua. This is that person, okay? So just know how these are. <laughs> this is you, this is the person, okay? To whoever's watching. Okay, so let's see your person with this deck. What's going on, how they're feeling. All right. Okay, so this is this is that. This is the ego here. This is control. This person has been trying to control this connection, okay? And the thing here is that they're trying to control it because of whatever's surrounding them. So they could be in a different community than you. They could be in a different social circle, Aqua. The person you're dealing with has people around them that is really influencing them, influencing their ego, influencing, you know, um, whether they can come to you, whether they can't. You know, it's that type of energy. And for you, it's, it's very... Um, exhausting is what I'm getting, okay? And this person here, it's like the way they're thinking about it is like they got one foot in, one foot out, okay? And this is very unhealthy. This is very unhealthy, okay? Because some of you, it's like you don't know when they're coming in, you don't know when they're leaving. It's like I'm getting leaving without a trace, okay? But the thing here is that this person still has one foot in, okay? But the th but they are looking at this connection. They're trying to observe you regardless, even though they have one foot out. They're trying to still observe you. Maybe they're watching you on social media. But what I'm getting is like they're trying to study you. They're trying to, you know what I'm getting here? It's like because this person has control issues, it's like they're just, they want to see what your next move is, okay? So let's see how they're, you're doing, okay? Because I feel like this person's very interested and in, like, what is Aqua's next move? Let me see, you know? Let's see. Spirit, let me know about Aqua. Oh, oh no. In a minute, I'll tell you guys. Wow, okay. This is so interesting. So some of you, this person could have left that you were dealing with, or maybe you left, okay? Let's see. Hold on. Wow. All right. So, you felt like things were not working out in your favor. You felt that this connection was, it was not the right timing. Um, it took a lot of your patience to be with this person, okay? And what you're thinking is like, for some of you, you're thinking, I did everything I can, but things like, you feel like you're out of luck is what I'm getting. You feel like, you know what, maybe this is not meant to be. Maybe this is not destined for me to be with this person, okay? Um, yeah, you don't feel safe with this person is what I just got, Aqua. And you started to focus on your money, on your career, on your independence. You're focusing on your coins. You're focusing on what your value is, what value you can bring to yourself 
and to maybe your family members is what I'm getting also, okay? You, you, you took responsibility, okay? I feel like this is when you left. Some of you just pulled your energy back. It could be from this person. But now what I'm feeling is like you want to go back to this person. I feel that you've changed, okay? You freed yourself from this person and the... You, some of you feel that when you associate with this person, you get bad luck. It could be, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're the other person, but like I'm just going to tell you what's, what I'm getting from spirit. It's kind of like when this person is around in your life, you know, you feel like you got bad luck, okay? And it's like when you're not, when you're not together, Aqua, it's like you're doing fine. You're getting those coins. You're feeling good about yourself. You're valuing yourself. You're taking care of yourself. You're feeling hot, you know, whatever it is. Um, you're feeling at peace too, and that's really important. So, but now I feel that with this new energy you have, because some of you have changed, you feel that, you know, maybe I need to go back to this person because I'm changed, okay? You're thinking, I could revisit the past. This is Six of Cups because, you know, maybe it's time we reconcile now. Because I feel great. I've been doing me, whatever. But you, you kind of feel that... This is what I'm getting. You pulled back your energy. You changed. You transformed. And now you think you're ready to go back. Some of you want to go back to this person. Because you feel like a soulful connection with them and it's something that you can't. You thought that if you pull your energy back for some of you, okay, like I'm on my own, I'm going to do me, you know, that kind of energy. You, fe you felt like this is going to, you know, maybe you're going to feel different, okay? Like you're going to forget about this person. But some of you realized that you still care about this person deeply you still want to be with them i don't know in the way they state they are before but let's see so let's see how the person you're dealing with Ooh, wow okay what's this <laughs> okay hold on guys Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Get one more. Wait. Sorry, guys. This person is very emotional right now. Whoever you're dealing with, Aquarius. Oh, man. Look at that. Okay. So this is what I'm getting. <clears throat> There is like a chapter between you that closed out, but some of you might think it's over. This person is still contemplating. This person probably has not he healed, healed from you. Whoa, healed from you. I was going to say heard from you, okay, but spiritual slip right there. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you. I feel that this person could have broken your heart and you could have broken theirs, okay? And it doesn't mean deliberately, guys. So regardless, this per person, this person is not happy. They are disappointed. I feel that there's a lot of, okay, I'm getting heart baggage, okay? That's what Spirit's saying, heart baggage. This person has heart baggage, okay? And that's why I feel that they've been fighting you off for such a long time. Some of you, they're not, you know, letting you get too close to them, okay? And this is this is really affecting you also. I'm sure that you have been um, really hurt by this person because they keep you at an arm's distance, Um 
Yeah, I'm getting heart baggage. So this is what I want to say, Aqua. This is this is doesn't have to do so much with you. Like I do feel like this person is hurt by you, which they have not expressed in the past. And it could be things that you think of as petty. Okay. If you think of as, you know, I just heard um maybe um They've felt um, belittled by you, but not that you did it intentionally. It could be that you, like, you got it going on in life, okay? And this person really has not lately, okay? <laughs> Let's just be real. And this person here, it's like they feel um, at a lower, like, if they, this is what I want to say. They feel like not enough for you, Okay? And so this person could have been hurt by that um, in a way where it's like you didn't even try to do it, you know, is what I'm getting. But the real, the heart baggage here is from the past. So whoever this hurt this person in the past, it's like they closed up and that's why they fight off any real emotional connection, okay? Even though it's like they, it's like it was so hard for them to fight you off because they do feel like you're their soulmate. This connection is really strong. There is emotions there. But this person, like I said, they're emotionally closed off. They keep this to themselves. I just got they look at pictures of you, but they would never tell you that. They look at pictures of you. I see them looking at pictures of you. And... Like normally somebody would, if they did that, they would say, you know, maybe text someone and say, I miss you or call them. This person is not like that, okay? And the thing here is that they look at you in this way. They look at this potential of this connection, but they have issues with emotionally connecting, emotionally expressing because of the heart baggage that they have, okay? Okay? The heart, it's heart baggage. That, that's what Spirit keeps saying. So I'm going to continue this, okay? I'm going to look in the extended. I'm going to look at if this person is going to come back, okay? Turn back around, come back. If this person is going to come back, if they are, what they're going to do, okay? What their next actions are. And I'm the advice that spirit has for you when this person returns, okay? Because a lot of you, I feel you want this person. So I'm going to go into whoever resonates with this situation. You should follow me down in the video, um, in the link below this video. And <clears throat> we'll see what you have to do for your highest and best and healing. So I'm going to get spiritual advice for this situation, okay? Um... Uh, Spirit just said to come into balance, okay? Because some of you feel like you're out of balance with one another, okay? So Aquarius, uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it resonates, don't forget to like this. Subscribe if you already have not. I'd appreciate it. And I wish you all the best. And I wanted to thank you all for your love and support with this channel and with me. It's greatly appreciated. Take care and peace out, Aqua.